We are at Danes in Distress again with Roger here, and we have Hunter below us, who's an adoptable dog that's available now? Yes, he is. He is available now. He will be with us for a couple of weeks before he goes to his forever home uh, while we do some training and assessment. He's just got a lot of energy. He's a bit underweight. Um, he was a bit malnutritioned in his former home, so he's just learning... Um, how to be a proper dog, um, just so he's friendly, uh, take a bit of his aggression out because he just doesn't know how to play properly. He just wasn't trained properly from the get-go, so he'll get his training now and it'll be very easy to rehabilitate him. You can see he's really gentle and a good boy. <laughs> This yeah. here, a lot of people think this is aggression. That's not aggression, that's just puppy play. Um, puppy play in a Great Dane's world is no different than any other one, except for they're way larger. And they're very vocal, and they're very vocal. It is not a mean bark, that is a fun bark. He's like, I want to go play, and that's all he's trying to do right now. Voice his opinion. But what you're demonstrating is that you're the leader and you'll decide when exactly. it's time for him to play. I, that is part of these dogs here is the training ability on them is to be able to have control, that you are the alpha dog. Um, you should always be in control of your dog at any time. Um, so that way if there's ever an issue that something's going on that you can get the dogs separated easy. It's yeah. not that hard. This dog is sitting around about 150, 160 pounds, and he's very easy to control as long as you have the upper hand on him. Never ever let yourself in a situation. Make sure you're always standing by its shoulders and shoulder blades and that. That way you can control the dog from doing the spins. So from a training perspective, would you say that the biggest uh, difficulty for new owners is dealing with their strength and their size? Yes, the strength and the size and that, and just the not knowledge. A lot of people think that they can do it on their own without getting some training. It's the same as I, I was actually trained by Sherry 16 years ago on our first Great Dane to learn how to be able to handle these dogs. And that. A lot of people think, oh, it's going to be really easy to train them and that. They're, they're couch potatoes. No, they... They're like any other dog, just a lot of size. And they will pull you across the parking lot, and uh, I have been many a time. Thanks, Roger. Thank you. With Hunter, one of the adoptable dogs you can see on DanesInDistress.com.